Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. In this video we're just going to go through the locations of all of the different celestial units within the game. As you can see I've got the majority of the celestial units however there are some which I am missing um, and that is because they are uh, slightly difficult to get but I will endeavor to show you exactly where to find all of these celestial units so i think it is just elowin uh, which i'm missing from the uh, celestials team so let's jump straight into it um, first things first uh, i'm going to go with uh, lachesis now lachesis is a very good unit for the um, avengers team uh, specifically within uh, the janna build uh, but also works very well uh, with Selene as well. And you can obtain her uh, through various different methods. The primary way that you'll be obtaining uh, Lachesis is through uh, this particular um, abyss section. Um, it does change on a um, sort of a monthly basis uh, when the, uh, the Rift Odyssey does change. So at the moment you can get Victoria and Dullahan for that one. And then on hard difficulty, you can get a ticket for Lachesis and Gwyn. Um, now, I'm not going to go over who I think you should pick for that. Um, I think it entirely depends on your box. Uh, but the other place that you can obtain Lachesis from, um, recently added, if you click on the Mist Merchant uh, in the Season tab and you go into the Rank Shop, you can also obtain a copy of Lachesis here as well, um, if you do well in the world arena so to get those points you need to go into the world arena uh, and you need to challenge you will get the points there and then we can go to the shop uh, and then you can buy lachesis there as you can see i've prioritized karnak just because i wanted to get him up to 11 stars uh, rather than having him sit at the five stars but lachesis is a very valid option um, within that particular shop as well um, the only other place really um, is through the dd summons so as you can see summons a, a random divine or demon for or five uh, star hero or shard um, you can go ahead and you can summon on that i would only suggest summoning on that uh, through the rebate um, as well uh, and then you get the points you can also go ahead and obtain a copy of lachesis there so there are the three ways that you can obtain lachesis um, through uh, various different shops and methods now talinas um, is uh, very very obtainable um, and you will probably pull uh, Lichesis, uh, sorry, uh, Lichesis, Talinas from uh, the Divine or Demons uh, Summon at some point you will get a copy of her you can get a copy through the Oracle Shop so if we go all the way down to the bottom here uh, or not even the bottom here um, she's right, right near the top there she is, uh, 100 coins for uh, Talinas. Now the other shops that are available, we go through to the Merchant's Guild and we can scroll all the way across to the Abyss shop. As you can see, you can pick up a copy of Talinas within the Abyss um, or the Abyss Crusade for these points. These are the secondary points, um, so the Crusade Coin 2. Uh, and you need 2,000 of them. So if we go into Abyss Crusade, um, as you can see, if I were to sweep um, I, you know, this is how you build up your score and then we go into Rewards. Uh, and you'll get a thousand for coming uh, first place uh, and you will get 900 for coming second to third and then the points go down uh, eventually you do need to get top 50 to start earning those points and it'll take you a couple of those um, abyss uh, crusades in order to get enough points for uh, talonas within that shop as well it's a very good purchase um, and I, I think he's very worth the investment as well as you can see uh, from my uh, my box I do have her at 12 stars uh, and I also have her exclusive runes as well so uh, very good unit uh, and very good for uh, going ahead and uh, progressing through the game I think she is a, a required unit um, but um, again I'll save that for another video now the next unit is Karnak so Karnak is available in um, a few places now uh, he wasn't previously he was only available through the rift odyssey tickets so if we click on here uh, we go into our tickets down here as you can see he's available through the final if you are able to clear abyss 
uh, one, oh, sorry, Nightmare 100, you are able to pick up a copy through this particular ticket. Um, the other ways of obtaining Karnak, as we saw previously, um, is in the Mist Merchant Rank Shop. As you can see, I've purchased a copy of him here for 2000, uh, and that took me a couple of um, seasons to save up for as well. Now, would I say Karnak is um, worth purchasing? Yes, absolutely. I would suggest that Karnak is probably um, your best bet, depending on the um, the guild. Uh, sorry, the the synergies that you do have available. Um, Karnak, for me, is probably uh, the best one out of this shop, especially when you start to get his exclusive runes. Um, there are other units to prioritize for exclusive runes, um, like. For example, uh, Doris, Dorabella, um, Eudora, but Karnak is up there um, and he's most definitely worth it. Uh, the other place you get him is through the Oracle Temple. So if you summon uh, via the Oracle Temple, you are quite likely to get a copy of Karnak. Um, and also through the Oracle Shop. Now would I say he's worth um, picking up through the Oracle Shop? Um, yes, actually I would. Uh, I would suggest that he is worth picking up a copy to fill out the uh, the Ethereals team uh, because he is he is a key uh, a key piece within that Ethereals team as well um, and that's as far as it goes for Karnak really um, I think you can obtain him on one of these tickets so if we go into um, Abyss and Hard uh, occasionally uh, he is available in one of these tickets down below as well I've picked him up from there um, but it's quite rare uh, it seems for him to be picked up uh, through those tickets now uh, Halios Halios is um, quite a key piece in the dooms setup uh, early on um, because primarily he will be really the only um, celestial unit or um, divine unit that you can pick up uh, quite quickly uh, for that dooms team uh, and the way that you would go about that is through the merchants guild you would go into your guild shop and there he is right at the very top available for 10,000 points now um, if you do have enough spare to pick him up I would suggest picking him up but the primary function of this uh, particular currency would be to purchase the new units uh, and their shards through this shop um, and then after that uh, Doris should be your priority um, picking up a copy of Doris uh, through here if you have um, purchased the uh, tickets and you've purchased a copy of Doris through this shop then I would suggest picking up a copy of Halios if you do have enough points um, you know he's he's a very valuable unit very valuable asset within the Dooms team although he's not uh, a fantastic hero uh, he does provide additional reflect rate uh, and a boost to that team as well as some DPS uh, which um, is is much needed, uh, I would say. I would say in that Dooms team. Uh, now the next unit is Talos, uh, and Talos you'll pick up quite frequently when you go through the Oracle summons when you summon in via the rebate on this particular um, this particular banner here. So you go ahead and you summon, uh, and occasionally you'll pick up a copy of Talos um, as well. All of the Celestial units are available through the O3 call. If you go ahead and you summon. Uh, on the Oath Recall, um, you are quite likely to pick up a copy or two uh, of those units in a sec. And then um, Talos is also available if we go to um, the uh, no the Yeast Grilled Shop. Um, as you can see, I've purchased one of him this week um, just to get him up to that 11 star mark. Um, he's also uh, alongside Macaria. Macaria, I would suggest, is the better unit uh, for me personally. Both are monarchs uh, and both serve respective roles on their teams, uh, but Macaria is just all around uh, a better uh, unit for me personally. She does more damage um, and she is uh, available in more teams, so she's available on the Glory and Monarch team. You can also put uh, Talos in there, but. Um, I think Makaria um, is, is a better choice within this particular shop, but you can purchase uh, Talos through this shop as well. Um, and the final place, uh, I don't think you can pick him up um, in any of the tickets from the Rift Odyssey, um, but you can uh, pick up a copy from this final ticket here. Uh, as you can see, he is available there, um, but there are much better units within here 
uh, and much rarer units within here uh, to um, to select so I would suggest not picking him from that ticket uh, but if you do need a copy of him you can always get it that way as well uh, so the next unit that I have on my list here is Catherine. Uh, Catherine is a relatively new unit uh, within uh, this year. <laughs> I know, um, it's it's June, I know. Um, but she is relatively new and she is available uh, through the Oracle Temple Oracle Shop. That's where I've been primarily picking up copies of her. Um, you can pick her up um, potentially through the, uh, the Oath Recall and the uh, Oracle Temple Summons. Um, but primarily this is where you're going to be wanting to pick up a copy of her and I would suggest she is absolutely required um, moving forward within this game uh, and just pri uh, just because of firstly her exclusive runes um, but also her striker synergy as well uh, does a lot of work uh, in a lot of matchups so yes uh, Catherine most definitely um, available to purchase through there nowhere else um, she's not available anywhere else you can't pick her up from any of these uh, rift odyssey tickets unfortunately um, and just to caveat this as well you are able to trade in I mean if you have sort of your units at 15 stars here you are able to trade them in um, any excess copies through the convert mechanic so if we go to um, Uh, go into the rebirth up here and we go to convert uh, if I had uh, excess copies uh, of these units uh, so for example um, say I had Lachesis at 15 stars I would be able to um, select a couple of the DD units as you can see um, all of the ones that are in the Oracle shop at the moment uh, you can select uh, if you do have three excess copies uh, of any of these DD units um, so yeah, very very good mechanic, but um, really only for very very end game content. So that's why I've not mentioned it before um, when looking at these units. Uh, but it is uh, a, an option for you. Um, so yeah, Catherine available in the Oracle shop and potentially through Oath Recall and uh, the uh, Oracle summons as well. Now Eudora is the next on the list, and Eudora is very very difficult to come by and it's because she's one of the most powerful heroes uh, in the game if not the most powerful hero in the game uh, Eudora is available primarily through the Oath Recall so if you do want a copy of Eudora um, you need to go and summon now uh, you can use 60,000 as you can see I've already used all of my diamonds to summon uh, for a copy and I summoned on the Eudora banner <coughs> So you can go ahead and you can summon using diamonds up to 60,000 uh, diamonds and also uh, through the summon tickets as well. Um, so this is really the only way to get her. Um, now as you can see I've done 100 summons on this event uh, and you are able to pick up a copy of Eudora uh, within that ticket banner. And this is only when Eudora is available within the, uh, the summons itself. If Eudora is not available within the summons itself, I don't believe you can pick up a copy using this ticket. Uh, but she is available. So if I were to do 200 summons, I'd get an additional uh, ticket. Uh, and I can get a copy of Eudora that way as well. So it's just, um, yeah, just one of those things. They've not put her in the Oracle shop, probably for good reason. Um, uh, you can't pick up a copy anywhere else uh, besides summoning through the uh, this banner here. Now I know it is possible to get a copy of her. So if we go to uh, the Divine banner, as you can see, there's a 1.6% chance that you'll get her. And there's a 1.6% chance that you get any of the other Oracle, um, or sorry, the uh, Divine or uh, Deviant units through this banner as well, which is why, so if we look at here, the unit pool, um, for the other three is just it's trash compared to um, compared to this so definitely be summoning it through this banner when the rebate is on uh, I can't stress that enough so the next unit Serafina very similar to Catherine um, realistically the only way you're going to get her is through uh, Oracle summons building up enough building up enough points and then summoning uh, oh, sorry, using the, the coins, uh, the rebate coins, in order to pick up a copy here of Serafina. Again, she uh, is available when you do summon on the Oath Recall as well, and as well as through the uh, Oracle um, 
divine in uh, demon unit banner as well as you can see she's available right there uh, and through the convert hero function as well um, but again you need uh, excess copies of 15 star D, &D units which is uh, it's very unlikely for the majority of players uh, but she is available that way now audrey um, is available she's one of the uh, she's the most recent hero to be released uh, this season uh, and a very effective um, monarch uh, in the Glorian setup. You can now have three, uh, three monarchs within that Glorian setup, and the only way to get a copy of her currently is to summon it now through uh, this banner here, um, the Immortal Summon or the Oath Recall. You can summon on her banner. Um, I tend to go up to 100 on this banner, so I will use 60,000 diamonds to summon, um, and I will also use 50 of these scrolls. Uh, to summon as well, uh, getting my copy of um, Audrey through here. Uh, so you will potentially, or you should pick up a copy of uh, one copy of Audrey uh, through the actual summons themselves. If you summon in on her banner, um, I wouldn't suggest summoning on her banner. I would suggest summoning on Eudora's banner. Uh, but you can also pick up a copy uh, through the tickets as well. So just something to uh, to keep in mind. But that is the only place that you can find um, Audrey within the game as it stands at the moment. Uh, Elmer is the next on the list. So Elmer is um, a very, very strong unit and I would suggest picking up a copy uh, or two of him via the uh, Oracle shop as well. Now the reason that I've suggested picking up, so as you can see, um, I haven't bought him this month uh, and it's only primarily because there are other units which I needed to prioritize. So getting my third copy of Althea getting my uh, third copy of Gloria and getting my first copy of Ariana. Um, very um, impactful units, but Elmer, um, I've already got him up to eight stars already, so I don't need to get him any higher. Um, it's just uh, excessive, but he is a very powerful unit uh, and uh, not available anywhere else um, within the game um, that I'm aware of. So if I, if I am missing something, please do let me know. Um, Oh yeah, that's that's Elmer, very impactful, and I would suggest getting a, two copies of him as quickly as you possibly can. Uh, Althea is the next on the list. Uh, she's a very good unit and um, is very synergistic with the current Avengers team. So uh, if we have a look at uh, the Avengers just very quickly, um, or we go into sorry Shadow Arcs, uh, blah, 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 Shadow Arcs Phantoms, the Phantom synergy here. As you can see, I've got one, uh, two. Three and four. Um, so four uh, phantom units, uh, primarily thanks to Althea um, being added uh, to the Oracle shop. That is primarily where you're going to get copies of the majority of these uh, these celestial units. So if we have a look at uh, scroll down, he uh, sorry, uh, scroll here. Uh, she is um, the second to last unit added to this shop and you can buy shards of her. The reason that you buy shards is because uh, occasionally if we go into my inventory here, we look at my shards, as you can see I've got certain heroes uh, which do require or, or have only got partial shards. So if, um, for example, uh, Astrid were to come into the shop, I'd pick up uh, 10 shards for her right away. Uh, with no hesitation I would get my third copy of her uh, and then if uh, Leandra or Ophelia were to be added I would pick up uh, shards for their units as well uh, to advance um, so yeah picking up shards very useful very impactful um, during these seasons and like I said the way to get the shards um, here is through redeem going to guild shop uh, and you can pick up 10 shards a week uh, of the DD unit and 10 shards a week of the uh, non-DD unit as well for that season. So very, uh, very useful tool uh, and a good way to pick up uh, those units as well. So we've only got two more on our list um, and that will, st well, that will be penultimately Madeline. Madeline has just been added uh, to the uh, the Oracle shop, uh, same place as everywhere else, and this is really the only place that you're going to be able to get most of these heroes uh, is through the Oracle shop or the Oath Recall Summon event. Um, if, as you can see, uh, Madeline recently added, uh, and I've been able to pick up three copies of her um, over the course of the past 
couple of months uh, just because of how well she fits in to that uh, Dooms team. The fact that she summons a unit um, on that Dooms team grants additional reflect rate. Um, it's it's a lot to do with Madeline's pass. Uh, sorry, a lot to do with Doris's passive, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um, it's she's a very good unit and very worth picking up. Um, up to up to that eight stars. The majority of these units, as you can see, are all worth picking up to eight stars. Um, it, it, the other ones uh, are just excess copies that I've uh, been able to, to pull, like with Catherine for example, I had her up to 8 stars, uh, pulled a, a random copy from uh, summoning um, and was able to, to level her up. The rest I've sort of gone for, um, so I've uh, selected Lachesis over um, a couple of the other units, I've selected Talonas. Uh, in the Abyss uh, Crusade shop, Karnak, I've prioritised through Oracle. Um, before the rest of the other units got released in there. Um, again, uh, the reason that Halios is so high is because um, previous to the starts of seasons, uh, I had him up to uh, five stars and I've picked up a couple of uh, other copies of him. Talos, again, uh, pulled randomly through uh, the Oath rebate, uh, sorry, the Oracle, uh, Oracle rebate uh, summons. But really, uh, that is your best place to to get a lot of these um, units and I, I do stress it every time uh, please only summon when there is a rebate on uh, via the um, the Oracle temple here uh, so the last one is Victoria uh, and she is slightly more accessible than the rest of them uh, although I have prioritized other units over her um, she is a very valuable unit within the uh, the Valenters setup uh, as well as a monarch uh, linking up with Macaria as well um, on that Valenters team uh, and she is available again through the standard places uh, summoning through here through the Oracle shop um, and she's also available uh, through these tickets so um, if we go into Rift Odyssey I think we've seen this before um, but she is available if you finish Abyss you scroll all the way down and click on the ticket she's available within this ticket uh, so Dullahan or Victoria. Now I've been picking up copies of Victoria recently because my Dullahan is already um, sort of four stars. So I don't need him anymore. Uh, any more is just excess copies uh, until we get him up to that 11 to 12 star mark. Or he might become a viable unit, but um, for me personally, he there are other units as well uh, that you need to prioritize over those two. But um, Victoria, again, uh, she is very powerful within her own right um, and also uh, good on the Monarch team. The final place you can pick up a copy of her, um, most recently added to the uh, rank shop here. You can pick up a copy for 2,000. Um, for me personally, I think Karnak is a better pickup uh, as well as um, Ashthusa. And then it's between Lachesis and Victoria. Um, those two, you know, um, these two should be a priority. And if I'm honest, in this shop, this legendary relic shard chest yes, should be priority um, picking up uh, five shards uh, for any of the legendary relics um, is probably more worth it than most of these units uh, unless you don't have them up to three stars in which case prioritize the units um, so that's it for the celestials um, there is one more um, which is the uh, Elowin unit uh, which I do not have a copy of uh, but you can pick up a copy of Elowin through the oath recall um, as you can see she's right there to into summon, uh, we keep going over to Elowin, uh, and you can summon on her banner. Uh, and it, it, for the first 50 summons, uh, I believe that you can pick up one copy of her, as well as through the ticket that is available. Uh, you can pick up a copy of her here. Now I don't know how that's going to work next season. I believe the newest newer heroes will be on that banner, rather than um, the older heroes like Elowin, uh, Astrid, uh, or Ophelia. Uh, but that's it um, for where you can pick up a copy of her. So uh, that's it for the Celestials uh, unit locations. Um, if you do have any questions or if I've missed anywhere, please do let me know. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to um, make a video about it. So uh, thank you for watching. If you have watched all the way through to the end, it's the best thing you can do uh, for the channel. Uh, and if you can like and subscribe, it'd be really appreciated. Thanks for watching. Um, oh. Um, miss something somewhere hold on hold on you can through um 
this is random, but you can pick up, if you have a look, uh, units if you are willing to spend uh, a lot of change um, through the continue well through the, the synergy packs. As you can see, you can pick up a copy of Lysandra through these packs as well, um, but it is very, very pricey, as you can see. Uh, I, I personally, if you do go for these, um, you know, I, I would make sure you're going to get a good unit at the end of it and one that is not widely available. Um, you know, if you, if you are willing to spend that sort of uh, money uh, on the game, um, that is uh, an option um, for you to be able to pick up uh, copies of those units as well. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I do hope you have a great day. Um, bye.